people want to know, and I know it's definitely one that I've asked a lot, is how much of what we see on these shows is real? You know, like how important is editing? For example, is the reason that like maybe people didn't like Vienna on The Bachelor because we saw so much of her, whereas we didn't see almost anyone else really for the entire series. So how important is editing on these shows? You know, editing is a big part of it, but you really see what's going on because there's cameras in our face constantly. There's everywhere that you go in the house, there's only three rooms that we're allowed to go in in the backyard. So there's always someone listening in. We're always mic'd up if like, there's no privacy. So um, it was it was really difficult to get used to that. Um, at the same time, you really had to watch what you said. And uh, but the editing is like a big deal because I think actually Vienna got a really good edit. <laughs> if you can believe that. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's funny to see the way they really portray people um, with Michelle. I don't know if you guys all remember Michelle. She was the crazy girl, as what people call her. Um, I actually liked her. But um, it's they, they, they just catch you at moments, and of course they're going to highlight that part of your character. So you just really have to be careful with what you say, what you do. And unfortunately, you're there from up early in the morning, you are go to bed really late, so you're sleep deprived, you're not eating properly, so that really breaks down a person and makes you become really emotional, and that's how they get uh, great TV. <laughs> Yeah, very typical, similar to what she said. There's cameras around you all the time. And anything that happened on the show on The Amazing Race was very pure, and they, they don't edit anything. They don't, I mean, they do edit everything, but they don't ask you to reshoot anything. They don't um, point you in the right direction or anything, so it's all on your own. And uh, The Amazing Race, I think, is one of the most pure reality shows because you just race and they just follow. So, but they do emphasize certain things and certain personality traits, just like she said. Um, if you guys saw Erica kind of melt down, they really like to emphasize the parts where she got hyped up and excited. And uh, we were lucky to get a really good edit. Um, but everything that happens really happens. So they can't really show anything that didn't happen. So you have to be aware that there are cameras around you 24 hours a day. Your camera guys are sleeping 10 feet away from you. You've got a mic on all the time. And uh, now, Normal life's kind of weird without cameras following us around all the time, so. Uh, uh, yeah, with So You Think You Can Dance, it's just about talent. They don't really care for drama. Your dancing is live. If you fall, you fall. They don't edit it out. Uh, so you're screwed if you fall. But everything is live. Um, it's a personality contest, too. But they don't really try and portray your personality as much. That's kind of your job that's part of the test as well to see how well you do with cameras and stuff like that. Uh, the only thing you don't have control over is like watching yourself on eTalk and seeing footage that you didn't even know they were there. So that stuff, like, they don't edit that either. They just, yeah, that show is really not edited for the dance side of it. So that's cool because it's just about your talent, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I always used to say that you should make a whole new reality show of what happens behind the scenes on Idol. I would say when you watch the Idol shows, it's about maybe 35% of what's really going on. There's everything from romances to drama to, you know, soap opera and fighting and just tears. It's, it's really amazing, especially I remember in the mansion itself. It's there's, there's just so much going on, and then when you put on the show, it's like you can escape back, but you, you have to deal with all the personalities. They kind of just throw everybody into a mansion. So if any of you have moved into uh, an apartment or something with someone new, you know what I'm talking about. It's just a bunch of strangers thrown into a big room, and so as you can imagine, there's just uh, all sorts of crazy stuff that happened that nobody in the audience knows about, you know, which would make great TV.